Hi guys, we are in week 17 and you guys have your embedded assessment to do this week where you're going to be writing your own news article or you can choose to write an editorial piece where you present more of like your opinion on something. You also need to include one other editorial piece. You could do a picture, like you could find a picture on Google or you could take a picture yourself with a caption or you could um, show like a poster and take a picture of that to submit it to me or a graph or um, a political cartoon or something if that fits your piece. So you need your article, whether it's a news story or an editorial piece, and then one other like a picture or something, okay? But before we get onto that, um, you guys also have Springboard Activity 3.14 to do, all right? So in that activity, we are going to look at some political cartoons. We've all seen these. Um, political cartoons are, um, ways that people express an opinion and they just have the one frame of the cartoon usually and so they have to pack a lot of meaning into that one picture. So I have a few political cartoons on your announcements and assignments for you and I want you guys to look at those. So you're going to need to look at those because they're not on the springboard page. The teacher was supposed to provide those so I provided them. All right. Um, the first one is an elderly couple looking at um, ways to lower health health costs. The next one is about taxes and the next one is about student loans. The the little speech bubbles in the student loans one was, were a little hard to read so I wrote in the caption there what each person is saying. All right. So I want you to look at those political cartoons and think about what the author is trying to say with them. What point are they trying to make with those cartoons? All right. Um, so there are three questions. They're numbered five, six, and seven because in the springboard activity it wanted you, they were numbered five, six, and seven. I didn't want you to do number numbers one through four in the springboard activity. So that's why this starts at number five. Um, so you are going to answer those questions, question number five, six, and seven, based on those political cartoons. So the first one says, most editorial cartoons present a, sp a specific political perspective. Do the cartoons you are examining have a specific point of view? How does the cartoonist demonstrate these perspectives? So in each of those in the graphic organizer, like in the senior healthcare cartoon, what is the point of view of that person? What do they believe? Based on that um, cartoon that you're looking at, what can you tell that they believe in, all right? Then the next question, um, it says editorial cartoons are designed to evoke emotion, either anger, humor, outrage. Um, they usually elicit a response from the viewer. So you either laugh at them like, haha, that's funny, or it like really makes you mad. Um, so I want you to write down how the cartoonists elicit that emotion in each of those cartoons. So what did the cartoonists do to make you angry or make you laugh or whatever? And then number seven, it says, based on these other questions, what does the message of your cartoon seem to be and what can you infer about its intended purpose? So what's the message? What can you infer about it? What is the um, cartoonist trying to get across, basically? All right, so look at those cartoons and answer those questions. That's pretty, pretty easy because the next thing I want you to do is write your article, okay? So your... Um, you're going to write an article or an editorial about something that is going on right now. So it could be something big in the news, like on a world level, or it could be something going on in your school. Maybe something's going on with um, school lunches, or maybe there's like a new cell phone policy or a cell phone policy at school that you want to discuss, or um, a tardy policy um, you want to talk about, or whether or not kids can sign themselves out and whether you think that's fair or not. So you can either do a news story. In a news story, you're pretty much just going to state the facts, right? In a news story, you'd also want to get quotes from each side. So if you're presenting a news story about like the cell phone policy at your school and how many kids have had their cell phones taken away or something like that, then in order to present both sides, you would probably include a quote from a teacher or an administrator and then also include a quote from a student. So. Be objective in your tone. Make sure your diction, the words you're choosing, are objective if you're writing a news story. If you're writing an editorial, then it can be your opinion, right? So if you're writing an editorial about like maybe um, why the lunch half hour is not adequate enough or whatever for teenage growing minds. Um, so you could write an, article, an editorial about that where you kind of present your opinion. In that case, um, your, your editorial is a little bit more slanted, right? Because you're allowed to do that in editorials. 
So whichever way you pick is fine. You could do an article where you're objective or an editorial where you're more opinionated. Um, but it should be at least a page long, 12 point font, double spaced. And your picture, like if you include a picture or a graph, if that's your editorial piece, that can take up like a quarter of the um, paper, all right? So it's really only three quarters of the of paper for the writing assignment. I also included um, a couple news articles written by students um, that I found. Neither one of these is long enough, just so you know, okay? So neither one of these would be long enough for yours, but I wanted to show you um, something else that a student wrote. Um, for a, a totally different assignment, but it'll at least give you guys an idea of where to start and what your sh your article should be looking at. Notice they both have headlines and a byline and a date. So yours will have a headline. It's by you. The date would be like any date within this week. Um, it has the place that the, the article is set. So like Spokane Valley, Washington or something like that would work for us. They each have a quote. Neither one of them has two quotes like I want you to include, but um, they each have a quote. Um, and, um, the first one is just kind of a funny one. Car thief caught trapped in a, in, um, target vehicle. So that's just kind of a funny article to show you guys another example of an article. The second one is more along the lines of what you would be writing because it's an issue that, um, is in these kids' lives. It says students raise money for a good cause. So maybe, you know, some students raising money for a good cause and you can write an article about that. Um, so. Those are just some examples to give you some help. I'm also here for some help. So if you really want to like sit down and write this article with me, we can do that. All right. I'm more than happy to, to help you out with that. So make sure you guys are reaching out to me if you need to. Um, I'm here to help. I want you guys to get through this. We're kind of heading towards the end of the semester here. So I want us all to finish strong. So reach out to me if you need to. And I'll see you guys next week.